on, I'm going to open a presentation where you can uh, do the exercises of the same topic, okay? And then we were going to make a reading, a reading, sorry, and a reading about this same topic. Remember that we, in this case, we're um, we are doing our best to straighten your abilities and your skills in listening and reading. So I'm going to start, let you to write the, the readings all by yourself, okay? I'm going to give you like 10 minutes and you can all make the, the reading. The thing here is for you to take the less time possible or the, yes, not to take a lot of time reading. You have to be as quick as possible reading, okay? And I'm going to assign another one, but that one is going to be for homework, okay? So let's continue with this, so do I and neither do I. I use so do I to say that a positive sent sentence is also true for me. And I use neither do I to say that a negative sentence is also true for me, okay? These are like, um, like agree, like to be agree with somebody else or what somebody else says. If it's positive, if, if, if the sentence is positive, you're going to say, so do I. But if it's a negative sentence, you're going to say, neither do I. Okay, like in these two examples. I hate mushroom. So do I. This means that you also hate hate mushroom. This is not in your book. In your book. This is not in your book. We are going to work on pages 91, I guess. It's 91, 100, and 101. Okay, but this page is not in your book. This is only grammar, okay? Lucy, I don't live in London. Me, uh, sorry, neither do I. I also don't live in London, for example. Maybe Lucy and I both live in Paris, okay? This is often used as a reply to someone else in a conversation, but both sentences can also be said by the same person and even join together, like the following examples we have. Elizabeth loves coffee, so do I. Or Harry doesn't play the piano, and neither do I. In my, in my examples above, I use do because the first sentence is in the present, in the present simple tense. The verb after so or neither change depending on the tense of the verb in the first sentence. This is very similar to the question. We hadn't seen the questions, but we're going to get to that, to that point. Okay, I'm going to open a board. So with so, with, sorry, with, with so I do and neither do I. So do I. Okay, this, these are the expressions we're going to use. Okay, like in the example. We're going to make examples like these two. Elizabeth loves coffee, so do I. I'm going to use, sorry. My mother loves coffee or loves zucchini. Okay, not zucchini, but pot no, tuna. So do I. Okay? 
So you're going to give me 10 examples. I'm going to leave it like this. You can use the negative one, or you can make negative sentence or positive sentence whenever you want, but you have to make 10 sentences, okay? Write 10 sentences using so, do I, or neither do I. Oh, sorry, neither I do. Okay. Go ahead. You can start Elizabeth and Nidia. Ten sentences for Elizabeth and ten sentences for Nidia. Okay? You can Remember, try to make all your sentences in one uh, rectangle. Ah, okay, you're doing that. Oh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, give me, give me the chance to. There it is. Oh, sorry, it was Nidia then, the green one. There it is. Now you can continue. Yes, it's in the same it's in the same rectangle, Nidia. This is the only one that it's different.
Okay, Nidia, what happened here? <laughs> okay, eight, uh, sorry, nine, ten, and then four? Okay, no, nah, just kidding. Okay, let me help you. Oh, wait. Um, it's here. Okay, and let's start. Says, my sister, my sister plays basketball, so do I. Okay, Mary plays the guitar, so do I. My brother listens the music, so do I. Or listens to music, so do I. Just sings pop music, so do I. He does exercise, so do I. She doesn't eat fish, so neither I do. Okay, my sister doesn't sing beautifully. Neither I do. I, here is beautiful Lee. Because remember that here we have an adverb. Here is an adverb. Uh, Hector doesn't, doesn't swing. Okay. Here would be Hector. Hector would be Hector can't swim. Nadar. Hector no sabe nadar, right? Hector can't swim, neither I do. She doesn't she doesn't make cakes, neither neither I do. My mother doesn't cook fish, neither I do. My son loves to play soccer, so do I. She drinks water every day, so do I. They work very hard, so do I. He drives very fast. Fast no faster. Fast fast I so do I. My brother hates the vegetable. Oh, sorry. Oh, solo. I don't leave. My brother hates vegetables. And that's understandable. So do I. The teacher doesn't like to eat chocolate. Neither do I. You don't speak English. Neither I do. They don't write poems. Neither I do. She doesn't read very well. Neither I do. You don't travel around the world. Neither I do. Very good. Okay, easy so far, right, girls? Let's continue. Let's continue. Great, you did it. Great. Okay, now, say in in my examples above, I use do because the first sentence is in the present tense. Okay. Likes coffee, so do I. Doesn't like coffee, neither I do. Present simple would be, so am I, or neither am I. Present continuous, so am I. Le Luke isn't going out tonight, neither I am. Sorry, neither am I. Past simple, use the Jill went to the cinema yesterday, so did I. Jill didn't go to the cinema yesterday, neither did I. With past simple, it would be. Or was and where? She was at the party, so was I. She wasn't at the library, neither was I. Okay? We cannot always use do because it depends a lot in the time that you are using your sentence. Like, for example, here with have and has, they have been to Colombia, so have I. They haven't been to Colombia, neither have I. Future simple, or with the use of will. Edward will be at the cafe later, so will I. Edward won't be at the cafe later, neither will I. And with the model verb, he would like a cup of tea, so would I. He wouldn't like a cup of tea, neither would I. Emma can't speak Russian. So can I, Emma can speak Russian, neither can I, okay? There was a, an exercise, I guess, Elizabeth, or...
media. I don't remember who used you used it did and I changed it for a can. For a can. So in this case we we should change the can and the can I because that it's a modeler. Okay? It's with can. We you use something about can swim or something like that. Right? I didn't change it because I hadn't explained to you this. So I was like, okay, well, it's not entirely your fault. Okay, let's continue with this. Now, what about two and either? We can also use I do two and I don't either, which mean the same. So do I and neither I do. Let me get this straight for you. Oh, here, here are the examples. I hate mushrooms. I do too. I also hate mushrooms. Lucy, I don't live in London. I don't either. I also don't live in London. Here, the bird changes in the same way as so with do I. And neither do I. Remember, you need a negative verb with either. Okay? Present simple. John's at the coffee. I am too. Present continuous. Luke isn't out tonight. I'm not either. Present perfect. They've been to Colombia. I have too. Model verbs. Emma can't speak Russian. I can't either. Okay, me too and me neither. We can also use me too and me neither. Me too has the same meaning as so, plus your auxiliary verb, plus I. And the me neither has the same meaning as neither, plus your auxiliary verb, plus I. Me too and me neither are very formal. So it's more common to you to hear me too or or me uh, or the other one, sorry. So do I and neither do I. These are more common that I do too and I don't either. These are more formal. Okay? The thing that is happening right now is that we are letting the formal speaking to the size, you know, especially as a second language. Okay. Uh, okay. I hate mushrooms. Me too. I also hate mushrooms. I don't live in London. Me neither. I also don't live in London. Subjects other than I. Of course. We can also use these expressions to talk about what's true for other people, not just ourselves. John, I hate mushrooms, so does Laura. Laura does too, or Laura too. Lucy, I don't live in London, neither does David, or David doesn't either, or David neither. Some more examples. We live in London and so do they. Emma loves tennis. Jill and Laura do too. My parents don't come here often. Neither does Alex. She isn't French and neither is he. You, you don't like cold weather. Neither do we. Okay? So I'm going to open... The next exercise, sorry. Okay, it has so, I need their exercise one. You're having a conversation with Jenny. What she says is true for you too. Put in so, I, or neither, I. 
choosing which auxiliary verb you need. But before we start this, I'm going to let you use this chart. Okay, we have this chart, so I'm going to allow you time so you can copy or you can make a screenshot out of it, okay? Whenever you want. You can copy this uh, chart or you can uh, take a screenshot. If you're going to copy, I'm going to give you 10 minutes. Okay, so you can copy, you can rewrite it. If you take a screenshot, then we're going to take less time, whenever you want. Okay, just let me know which is the option.
Okay. Uh, let's check or let's wait for for Elizabeth. Are you ready, Elizabeth? No, okay, we wait for you, don't worry. You're ready now, Elizabeth? Now let's go to the exercises. So, following the chart, you're going to answer this exercise, okay? It's a lot, it's 20. There are 20 exercises. So what I'm going to do is that... Um, there it is. I'm going to I'm going to open the board so you can all work uh, together like this. Okay, I'm going to open the board so I'm going to divide. There are 20 sentences, so I'm going to divide the first 10 sentences for a uh, Nidia and the other 10 sentences are going to be for Elizabeth, okay? Just let me take the screenshot. There it is. Dice Elizabeth, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> From 11 to 20, those are going to be yours, okay? Elizabeth? So I'm going to open my chart. Oh no, sorry, 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 not this one. Open the, sh the whiteboard.
this is our sorry this is for um media and the other ones are for elizabeth Here it is, Elizabeth. Actually, I'm going to leave it like this. So you can write to the side your answers. Okay? Like that. For example, okay, for example, like this. Um, I'm Elizabeth, okay? I'm going to do one of Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. Jenny, I didn't pass the, the exam. Neither did I, okay? That's how you're going to do it. Yes, or, and I'm going to help a, um, I'm going to help Nidia too, right? Because it wouldn't be fair. <laughs> okay, Sarah loves chocolate. So do so do I. So do I. There it is, okay? So don't worry if you don't have the space for this, don't worry. You just write it next to the sentence. Now I'm going to activate the collaborate. Now I remember uh -huh, yes, Elizabeth. Very good. Now you can start. Go ahead. You can start answering your sentences. One to ten are for Nidia. And eleven to twenty are for Elizabeth. next to the sentence like I did Elizabeth like I did you just click here make it small your yes next to the sentence to the sentence you just make it small your your square and then you can start typing okay can't why okay there you are now can you try now remember to click on t on the t of of typing or text you don't see text you don't okay not okay let me let me go out of the of the of the room and then came in again so maybe you can type this time
know why you can't write, but I'm going to help you, okay? Elizabeth, she typed me her sentences. Nidia typed me her sentences. So I'm going to start. There it is. So do I. I can play the piano. Um, no, neither. Neither can I. So am I. So am I. Number four. Neither am I. Neither am I. And so will I. Okay, can you try to type to the board right now? Because I guess it wasn't enabled. <laughs> oh, so sorry. I didn't click on the to give you the the chance to write. Eh, Nidia. <laughs> I help you to to put them in the in the correct place, okay? And to make them smaller. So do I, okay? I'm going to help you, Nidia. There it is. Next one. It's neither do I or neither I do, uh, neither do I. So do I, Dan lives in, in Madrid, so do I. Neither do I. There it is. Neither do I. Elizabeth. So can I. Okay, I help you here. So am I. Okay, let me let me type um Elizabeth's answers here. Yes, you can right now, Elizabeth. <laughs> can you believe that? <laughs> neither neither did I, neither have I. Neither have I. So am I. So am I. Um, fourteen. Yes, Elizabeth. I'm typing your answers. Fourteen. Neither will I. Neither ah. Neither will I. Oh, watch out there. You write will with only one one L, okay? It's 
with two L's. You want to type them, Elizabeth? Neither am I. Or may I continue? As you wish. Okay, I'm so did I. So did I. And number seventeen. So am I. Okay. I'm going to help you to make them smaller, okay? There it is. Okay, there you are, Elizabeth. So can I. Very good. Okay. Let me check your answers. It's time for me to check your answers. Okay. The first one, the first ten, are in the following order. <clears throat> okay? Number one, Sada loves chocolate. So do I. I can play the piano. Neither can I. Catherine is English. So am I. Jenny, uh, sorry, she isn't coming to the party. Neither am I. Very good. Lucy will come tomorrow. So will I. I have to study this weekend. So do I. So do I. Dan lives in Madrid. So do I. She doesn't have any brothers or sisters. Neither do I. I've been to I've been to Mexico, so have I. Very good. And the last one. I'm going home now. So am I. Very, very good. Um very good, Elizabeth. No, sorry, Nidia. Sorry, Nidia. Okay. Let's check eleven to twenty. There are Nidia's, no, sorry, Elizabeth, I'm changing you. Okay, shoo. Gato. Sorry, there is a cat in the room. Okay, I didn't pass the exam. Neither, neither did I. She hasn't brought her laptop. Neither have I. Number 13. David is living in Mumbai. So am I. 14. I don't have, I won't have a cake just now. Neither will I. Jenny, oh, uh, sorry, number 15. I am not an engineer. Neither am I. Number 16. John went to the lecture yesterday. So did I. Number 17, Jenny, Jenny, sorry, I'm studying Spanish at the moment. So am I. I'd like a cup of coffee, so would I. John wouldn't drive in the snow, neither would I. 
would I, okay? And Emma can speak French, so can I. Very good to both of you. There you are. I know how to make the tin like this, like. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I know how to make it the, the old school tin uh, like this, but I can't do it with a pencil. It's correct number six. I have to study have to study this weekend. So have I. Uh, yes, it would be so do I or so have I. The thing here is that I ah uh, that's why you were moving your Yes, the thing here is that Remember that have is also, yes, number six, you were, yes, you were uh, moving your pencil here, right? The thing here is that remember that it's in the present tense. It's not like, um, for example, uh, neither will I. Okay, here, look here. Here we have want instead of have, you see? And? We have here the will, because this is present, it's because of the tense, exactly. Here, for example, we have the verb as an auxiliary verb, you see? She hasn't brought her laptop. Neither have I. In this case, it is, it is fair to use the have. And it's not present simple. This is the perfect tense. It's a perfect tense. It's present perfect. So, like it's present, yes, like, like it's present simple, you have to use the do because this is your auxiliary verb. Uh, simplifying the rule would be like, you have to use the auxiliary verb in your tense to to make the so do I, neither can I, to do the, the answer you have to use. Yes, remember that present, uh, which one? This one? No, I have to study. No, that is not present perfect. This is just simple, pres simple present. I don't see well. Okay, this is just simple present. I have. I have to study. I have to study its simple present. Simple present and the auxiliary verb is do. That's why you use do. And for example, in the other one, she hasn't. She hasn't. Bro. Her laptop. The auxiliary verb is have. That's why you use the you use it like that. You see? That's why you use it like that. In this case, Elizabeth, you thought that number six was was a uh, present perfect. Ah, no. Ah, yes, exactly, Nidia. Or I have studied. Oh, uh, he. Sorry, he hasn't studied yet. Say, like for example, right? He hasn't studied yet. That would be. So you can you can make the the have as your or the has. No, actually, it's the have as your your auxiliary verb, so you can make your your answer. Yes, it's kind of um, it's not like confusing, but like tricky in those kinds of of exercises, right? Where am I? Mm. Ah, here is a whiteboard. Yes. Okay. So neither he hasn't studied yet. Oh, that's me. Okay, let me open now. 
this presentation, this is for today's, uh, today's work is this page. This is an actual page from your book. Okay, so let's go to one. So we're going to use this new rule we just learned. Can you see the, the the page? Let me know when you can see the the big or the page of the book. Oh, sorry. I haven't. You don't have your book in this moment. Okay, don't worry. You can focus on this one. Okay, yeah, don't worry. You can uh, type here. You can do it here. Okay, so. Do not worry. Let's go to page 91. We're going to use the same... Um, The same grammar we are seeing so far, okay? This is a listening. This is the listening, the one that we're going to do. We have here in the page, it says listening. It's the exercise 3A, 3A and B. This part, listening and speaking. Backyard keeping. That is what we're going to do. You hate listening. <laughs> <laughs> Dice Elizabeth, oh, why it has to be a listening? Why not a reading? <laughs> hey, Elizabeth, so do I. <laughs> so do I. Okay, listening and speaking. Backyard beekeeping. Listen to a radio interview with a beekeeper. Check the topics he talks about. And we have how he became interested in bees, how bees actually pollinate flowers, how to care for hives, and the dangers of beekeeping. It says, or it's marked there, that it, we're going to work with the exercise B, not A. Listen to more of the interview and complete the statics. But if you can uh, infer this information from the listening, go ahead and do it, okay? You can answer the first, the first, um, the first set of questions, it would be fine. If you answer the first part. Let me track down the listening and open it here. Remember, if you need to listen in one more time, just let me know. Oh, sorry. It's too slow. Page 91. Lesson D. Where did all the bees go? 3. Listening and speaking. Backyard beekeeping. A. Listen to a radio interview with a beekeeper. Check the topics he talks about. So, John, welcome to the show. John, you're a backyard beekeeper. How did you get into beekeeping? 
Well, actually, my father was a professional beekeeper, so I grew up around bees. And although I was fascinated by them, who isn't, um, <laughs> I didn't take over his business. It's only recently that I've started keeping bees in my backyard. So you helped your father keep bees when you were a child? Yes. I learned everything I know about bees from him. There's a lot to learn, obviously, like about the bees themselves, how to build a colony and prevent them from flying off, etc. So you don't simply buy a hive and put it into your backyard? <laughs> no, not quite. In um spring, you have to make sure the colonies are growing and generally get ready for the summer months. That's when bees produce honey. Do you want to listen the audio one more time? Or it was clear for you? Hello? Hello, hello? One more time? Elizabeth and Nidia. Hello, can you hear me, girl? Nidia and Elizabeth, can you hear me? Yes. 
Yes. Do you want to listen it one more time? To check your answer? Yes. Okay. Okay. Ready? Let's give answer to the exercise. Says, listen to more of the interview and complete the statics. A hive can produce about pounds of honey a week. This visit something like Okay. I guess I'm not sure, but Oh, sorry. The topics that Nidia says that it, that they were uh, talked about there, it was how he became interested in bees. Okay, what else? What other? Is there another topic? Sorry. Is there another topic? How he became interested in bees and what else? How bees actually pollinate flowers? How to care for a hive or the dangers of beekeeping? 
Can you hear me? Nidia already told me how he became a, how he became sorry interested in bees. What would be the other topic? How to care for a beehive or for a hive or the dangers of beekeeping. Which of these two um, represent more the The audio that we just listened. Elizabeth, which of these two? How to care for a hive or the dangers of bees? The dangers of beekeeping? Well, it would be more how, well, could be both. The dangers of beekeeping and how to care for a hive. <clears throat> okay, we don't have the second part. Uh, I wish we had the second part of the... Of the listening, so we can listen to the statics of the beast and everything. But we're going to work on our reading. Our reading is in page 100 and 101. So let's go to this page. I I found that my internet is very very slow right now, and I am supposedly to have all of the all of the rayitas that we have here, right? Of the signal bar.
know when you can hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? You don't listen. Are you sure? Can you hear me now? Elizabeth? Okay, Nidia can hear me. Elizabeth, can you hear me? Ah, okay. I was you before I I get out of the room that I was experiencing uh, some slow internet, but my actually my bars were okay, were stable, so I don't really know what was the problem. And I was telling you that we were going to page 100 and 101 because we were going to make a reading. Oh, sorry, that is my dog. Okay, because we're going to make a reading. It's on page 100 and 101. This is our reading. There it is. Oh, that's Buka. It's page 100. 100. There it is. Okay, it says politics of happiness. Reading, prepare. What factors make a country happy? Make a brainstorm or brainstorm a list of ideas. I would think that wealth is one factor. People in rich countries must be happy. Okay, I believe. Let's make the brainstorm here in the chat, okay? Brainstorm means lluvia de, de ideas, okay? So let's make a brainstorm here. What makes a country happy? I guess that, um, well, wealth is one factor. I think that, um, you know, um, cheap gas is another factor. Right. Let me three minutes. Okay, don't read, don't read, Nidia. Just use your own ideas. Your own ideas. Ideas. What will make you happier in Mexico? I think that cheap gasoline is a factor for the country to be happy. Okay, I'm focused only on Mexico, so, Elizabeth, what do you say? Money, security, economic. Yes, money, money, uh, wealth, well, wealth, it's like when you have a lot of money. Okay, wealth, it's a lot of money, it's to be rich, wealth, security, economic, yes. What else? Uh -huh, security, well, those are the most important things, right? But let's see what is this about. It says, read for main ideas and then read the article. How many of your ideas are mentioned? Let's check. Good education, very good. Let alone good education, free education. I mean, it's not actually free because we pay them with our taxes, but it would be nice to have like like you know free tuition for for kids a good and free education good and free as free as you can pay with your taxes right 
right? More security, right? Very good. More security, Nidia, yeah. Because we cannot do anything without security. Yeah, you cannot, uh, you cannot put your, your business, if you don't have security, you cannot go out without uh, getting your, uh, be sure you are secure, right? It's not more cops, it's like, you know, less pollution in our planet, right? More, uh, more uh, recycling and those kind of things, programs, right? Yes, that would be nice. Okay, let's read unhappy. Maybe you are not in the right country. Let's see what this is about. Okay, let's read this article. And let's see if we were in the, if we were right or not, okay? Um, Like Elizabeth? I guess it's you, the one who doesn't have the the book. You just tell me, Elizabeth, if I go like, like for example, there, you type here in the chat, done, done, and then I'm going to move to, to the last paragraph, okay? And then when you write done again, I'm going to go up to the four paragraph here, so you can continue reading, okay, Elizabeth?
It was just a quick reading, okay? But let's continue. Well, we have this and we have this other exercise, okay? Uh, we have this reading for detail. Do the statements below agree with the information in the article? And we have write Y for yes and for no, or NG for information not even. Okay, like, I'm not sure that you can... Uh, not, not that you can, sorry. That we will have time to do it and review and check it. This is going to be for homework, okay? Nidia and Elizabeth, can you hear me? Um, exercise, C, reading for detail. Is for homework, okay? Sorry, it's for homework. Page, okay, you're going to reread again. The reading, it's on page 100, and the exercise, it's on page 101, okay? Yes, yes. Okay, girls, well, this is all for today. Uh, send me your homework. You can only, you can, you don't need to send me the reading and this part. You can send me only the sentences, okay? With the yes, no, or NG information. This would be all for today, girls. We see each other on the next class, okay? We will have vacations. Oh, I'm not sure. Let me ask uh, Mr. Mr. Mario if we do or we will continue with our classes, okay? Because I'm not sure either. I'm not either or I'm not sure either if we do have uh, classes or we will have vacations. But I will let you know, okay? Okay, or oh, you can type and ask Mr. Mario. Okay, that directly in the chat, he's always 